freedom. It is neither free nor is it obligated to anyone. Freedom is elusive, yet it has existed since the dawn of man. People have fought for it, died to preserve it, yet many have declared war to steal it from others. Freedom is not free. Service is the cornerstone of freedom. Service is what keeps a country free and its citizens motivated. Without service, freedom cannot prevail. This age-old paradox of freedom and service is, in fact, one of the greatest mysteries of God. You cannot have one without the other. Freedom without service is dependency, and service without freedom is slavery. Our founding fathers understood this cycle of life between service and freedom so well that they made it the foundation of our Constitution. Every God-given freedom written in our Constitution must be ensured by our government. It is the law. In other words, our government exists to serve the people. Yet the government, as the Founding Fathers envisioned it, is the people. Therefore, we must serve. We must serve our country as though the enemy was crouching at our doorstep with war dripping from their teeth as they prepare to conquer us and steal our freedom. We must serve as though our own individual freedom depends on the very safety and security of each and every fellow American. Freedom, as our founding fathers envisioned it, stands in stark contrast to the desires of our modern day world and the majority of its leaders. History has shown us that those who know not service will also fail to understand freedom. They will find it mere nonsense. This conflict between service and freedom also exists within many American citizens and politicians that want us to believe our survival and the success of this great nation depends on government handouts and regulations. This progressive socialist ideology is rooted in dependency and has corrupted our two-party political system which now casts aside self-responsibility of the individual and self-governance by the people as it leads this country straight to servitude like sheep to the slaughterhouse. In fact, our greatest national security threat is not Islamic terrorism. It is bad policy that resonates from incompetent narcissistic politicians and lawyers steeped in progressive socialism. We the people can change this tidal wave of dependency. We, the people of the United States, must claim our citizenship look past the politicians and race baiters and back to the mindsets and actions of our founding fathers. Only there will we rediscover our direction and the motivation that created this great and powerful country. Any politician that tells you our Constitution isn't enough to make all people free is a liar. Any court justice that tells you our Constitution doesn't fit in today's society and must conform is a liar. Any activist on the left or the right that tells you their way is the right way and the only way is a liar. We the people are the first branch of government, where self-governance unites all people. We the people are responsible for looking out for each other's freedoms and working our problems out before they get to the courts. If our issues get to the court, we the people have failed. We the people stand united we are a force like no other on earth, and the government, when we do that, exists to serve us. When we, the people, are divided, we become individual slaves, waiting to be purchased by a master or controlled by an enemy. We, the people, must not buy into these lies. There is no liberal or conservative. There is only effective or incompetent. There are no longer race boundaries, and poverty has no hold on you. The perception that in order to have equal rights, you must infringe on liberty of others is a lie. Glass ceilings do not exist, and your sexuality does not define who you are. God loves everyone equally and gives freely to those that ask. Only he has the power to judge sin. There is no ditch too deep for you to climb out of. There is no wall too high for you to scale. You are an American, and together we are the United States of America. <laughs> 